Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, abide with us. Now that the sun has run its course, let hope not be obscured by night. But may faith's darkness be our light. Lord Jesus Christ, grant us your peace. And when the trials of earth shall cease, grant us the morning light of grace, the radiant splendor of your face. Immortal, holy, threefold light, yours be the kingdom, power, and might. All glory be eternally to you, life-giving Trinity. The Lord looks tenderly on those who are poor. In the Lord I have taken my refuge. How can I say to my soul, Fly like a bird to its mountain. See the wicked bracing their bow. They are fixing their arrows on the string to shoot upright men in the dark. Foundations once destroyed. What can the just do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world. His gaze tests mortal men. The Lord tests the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. He sends fire and brimstone on the wicked. He sends a scorching wind as their lot. The Lord is just and loves justice. The upright shall see his face. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you search the hearts of all, both the good and the wicked. May those who are in danger for love of you find security in you now and in the day of judgment. May they rejoice in seeing you face to face. The Lord looks tenderly on those who are poor. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Lord, who shall be admitted to your tent and dwell in the holy mountain? He who walks without fault, he who acts with justice and speaks the truth from his heart, he who does not slander with his tongue, he who does no wrong to his brother, who casts no slur on his neighbor, who holds the godless in disdain but honors those who fear the Lord, he who keeps his pledge, come what may, who takes no interest on a loan and accepts no bribes against the innocent, such a man will stand firm forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Make our lives blameless, Lord. Help us to do what is right and to speak what is true that we may dwell in your tent and find rest on your holy mountain. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. God chose us in his Son to be his adopted children. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him, before the world began, to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure, that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed, and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan he carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into him in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
God chose us in His Son to be His adopted children. A reading from 1 Peter chapter 4. Rejoice in the measure that you share Christ's sufferings. When His glory is revealed, you will rejoice exultantly. Happy are you when you are insulted for the sake of Christ, for then God's Spirit in its glory has come to rest on you. You have tried us by fire, O God, then led us to a place of refreshment. You have tried us by fire, O God, then led us to a place of refreshment. You refined us as silver in the furnace, then led us to a place of refreshment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You have tried us by fire, O God, then led us to a place of refreshment. The saints find their home in the kingdom of heaven. Their life is eternal peace. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The saints find their home in the kingdom of heaven. Their life is eternal peace. This is the hour when the king of martyrs offered his life in the upper room and laid it down on the cross. Let us thank him and say, We praise you, O Lord. We praise you, O Lord, our Savior, inspiration and example for every martyr for loving us to the end, for calling all repentant sinners to the rewards of life, for entrusting to your church the blood of the new and everlasting covenant poured out for the remission of sin, for our perseverance in your grace today, for incorporating our dead brothers and sisters into your own death today. We praise you, O Lord. Let us conclude our prayers with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, your martyr, Boniface, spread the faith by his teaching and witnessed it with his blood. By the help of his prayers, keep us loyal to our faith and give us the courage to profess it in our lives. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.